Hey, hey guys, it's Ryan with AIinsidertips.com. In this quick video, I just want to let you guys know about a quick update from OpenAI officially announcing that ChatGBT can now browse the internet to provide with current and authoritative information as it is directly linking to Bing search with a new browse feature. As it says, it is no longer limited to data before September 2021. Now, guys, this is coming from the official OpenAI LinkedIn page and all of the other platforms that they posted it on. And you guys know what I'm talking about if you've been using ChatGBT on a frequent basis. If you ask it a query or a prompt with any sort of recency intent, such as who won the NBA Finals in 2023, previously you would get a response that looks like this. I'm unable to provide real time or the most current information as my training only includes knowledge up to January 2022. Now, sometimes it says September 2021, but regardless, you guys get the point. Now, this has always been the biggest downfall of using ChatGBT, in my opinion, when I could simply just come over to Google Bard and ask the same exact prompt. And since Google Bard directly integrates with Google search results and is in Google's ecosystem, it can pull straight from real-time search results from Google. As it clearly says here, the Denver Nuggets won the NBA Finals in 2023, blah, 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 and provides more recency information than ChatGBT. Now, it is important to call out that this is not new per se, as OpenAI did connect ChatGBT to the internet officially in March 23rd of 2023, However, it was always in beta mode and there were tons of bugs and it just was never working correctly. Um, and now it seems that OpenAI has improved this functionality of ChatGBT. The previous workaround was using a browser extension like WebChatGBT. And I do have actually a separate video on this and it's a very good extension. I'll leave a link to that in the description below if you want to check that out. But now guys, let's take a look in real time at this new browse feature. So if I copy and paste this exact prompt, I hit new chat. Now something I wanna call out really quickly is that this is only available to plus and enterprise users. On OpenAI's LinkedIn post, they do say that. Browsing is available to plus and enterprise users today and we'll explain that to all users soon to enable choose browse within the Bing selector under GBT4. So if we come to chat GBT and I hover over GBT4, you will typically be on the default option here. And now what you'll see is browse with Bing. And like I said before, it was always in beta mode starting in March and it still says beta mode, but I'm assuming this is now working better. So if I click this option here, I'm gonna paste the exact same prompt. Who won the NBA finals in 2023? And as I click enter, We'll give it a few seconds here, but you'll see it says browsing starting up and it is pulling straight from the Bing search results. So it says here, finish browsing. The Denver Nuggets won the 2023 NBA Finals by defeating the Miami Heat with a series score of 4-1 to one on June 12, 2023. So as you'll see here, it looks like ChatGBT has figured out real-time search results, at least in this example. But that's it, guys. That's just a really quick video on an update I wanted to share with you from OpenAI about ChatGBT now being able to browse the internet with real-time information with more accuracy. Again, this is Ryan with AI Insider Tips. Appreciate you watching this quick video. Be sure to like, share, subscribe, leave me a comment below. Hope this quick video helped you out. And guys, I look forward to releasing more content like this in the near future.